Um, my name is Tyra Blue, and I'm a junior at Omaha Central. Okay, and this poem is titled Soul Food, a play in three acts. Act one, soul food is an act of loving. This isn't just one act. When your mom prepares soul food, it will be three acts. Three days of eating the same leftovers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, unless you have McDonald's money. Black families only do baked mac and cheese in the foil pan with the crusted edges like God bless them the way. As a little girl, I would only eat the potato salad if my mom made it the way. A lot of us today will only eat the barbecue if the dad of someone's cousin who had on leather sandals cooked it. The way my mom says, quit running in and out of my house before you let all my good air out, or the way she tells me, that I smell like outside. I used to love the way greens could taste so good. Like heaven on earth, it is no secret that I love fried chicken. I love fried chicken so much that I'd rather write love letters to Time Out and Popeyes than to myself. I haven't eaten freshly fried chicken on any holiday in over four years because the uncle who has the wife who can't cook brings no frills chicken. Soul food doesn't deserve a taste in my mouth unless my tongue tastes cheesecake afterwards, unless my lactose intolerant body thanks me now, hates me later, I will eat a thousand cheesecakes. And if I die, this is definitely the best way to go. Name a Kool-Aid flavor after me when I'm gone. The next holiday is Easter. And I can already imagine me sitting in the corner of my aunt's leather couch looking at memes on Twitter the whole time. Act three, act two, soul food is an act of apologizing. I'm sorry for looking at memes on Twitter the whole time. I'm sorry I'm too fearful to talk to my cousins. My anxiety is tiptoeing in steel toe boots, waiting for me to go home. I'm sorry I spend most of this time hating myself, like I used to spend a lot of my days. I'm sorry, Mom, that your spaghetti doesn't taste as sweet as it used to taste in my mouth anymore because you got me on the wrong days. Most of my days are the wrong days. I'm sorry I've forgotten the taste of soul food. Like I too often wanted to forget breathing. How 4.7 per 1 million black children have forgotten breathing. I'm sorry that suicide rates among black children have increased. How these children have probably been told to pray, or been told to keep starving, keep praying. This is only white people, mess. I'm sorry I wasn't there for all of you like I could have been. We could have shared our suicide notes, maybe discussed how depression swallowed our anxiety like it was my mom's spaghetti. We could have fed each other the days we sometimes wish we could get back. At night, I hear the sound of all the children breathing like a melody too close to home and some sirens outside my bedroom window. I could have been these sirens. Sometimes I hear some of the children eating. I hope they found the taste of soul food again. I hope they stop praying to disappear. A prayer that I still keep tucked under my tongue. Some nights my throat is filled to the brim of the melodies of these children of soul food of me. Act three, soul food is an act of forgiving. I'm learning to love myself with these children like I'm learning to love soul food again. The other day, I ate my mom's spaghetti, tasted like hope rather than happiness. This time, she didn't catch me on the wrong day. Woo!